Hey, welcome to NEB Physics. I'm Sunil Sah, and here you can learn plus two physics based on the new syllabus of Nepal Education Board. Now let's move towards understanding the concept of triboelectricity or static electricity or charging by friction. Well, before we discuss about static electricity, it's worthy to understand about electric charge. Electric charge is the property of matter which makes it to experience force when kept in an electromagnetic field. Or simply, it can also be defined as the physical quantity that is developed due to unequal number of protons and electrons in an atom. There are two types of charges, positive and negative. The positive charges are carried by protons and the negative charges by electrons. The movement of electric charges is responsible for the generation of electrical energy. When we look at an atom, it generally has equal number of protons and electrons. So the quantity of positive charge is equal to the quantity of negative charge. So the net charge is zero and the atom is electrically neutral. Now let's understand about the generation of charge in the matter. Generally, an atom is neutral because it has equal quantity of positive and negative charges. But when a neutral atom loses electrons, the number of protons will be more than the number of electrons. So the atom becomes positively charged. And when a neutral atom gains electrons, the number of electrons will be more than the number of protons. So the atom becomes negatively charged. So what is charging by friction or static electricity? Have you ever rubbed a balloon on woolen cloth and thrown it against the wall? Now let's see what happens when you do this. When you rub a balloon on woolen cloth or dry hair and throw it against the wall, it sticks to the wall. Now the question is, why? Well, every atom in the matter has equal number of protons and electrons. But when a balloon is rubbed on woolen cloth, there is transfer of electrons from woolen cloth to balloon. And when the balloon is thrown against the wall, there is attraction between the localized positive charges on the wall and the negative charges on the balloon. And as a result, the balloon sticks to the wall. Now let's see a next example. When you rub a comb on dry hair, it can attract pieces of paper. This is because the electrons from hair transfer to the comb and these electrons remain confined in the comb as static charges. When the comb is brought closer to pieces of paper, the positive charges are localized on paper due to induction and as a result the papers are attracted towards the comb. I'm sure sometime you must have felt electric shock while touching a metallic doorknob or similar objects. This is also due to static electricity. Now I am using a simulation to make you understand this phenomenon. Well, it's not always that you get electric shock while touching a metallic doorknob. But sometimes the material in your footwear and the carpet matches such that when there is friction between your foot and the carpet, the loosely bounded electrons from the carpet transfers to your body. Now these electrons remain confined within your body as static charges. And 
Whenever you touch a metallic object like a door knob, these excess electrons transfer to the door knob and you feel electric shock.